Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So this is the part two of the videos, uh, the video on that series and parallel connections. So if you missed the part one of this video, kindly check the description of this video. You'll find the link uh, to the part one that talked about series connection. So now in this part, we are going to be looking at that of parallel connections. So if you are yet subscribed to PA Academy, please click on the subscribe button. Yeah, please do click on the subscribe button and then the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. So now let's go into this video, parallel connection. It says what? In parallel circuits, the same voltage is applied to all components. So now let me give you, uh, draw a diagram of what a parallel circuit looks like. So now, like this now, is looking uh, like this is a series circuit. But if I should have something like this, if I should have one, one resistor here, so with this, we can give this R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, and then R7. So if I should give it like this now, now we are having a parallel connection. And what makes it parallel? If you let's label these points, let's call this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now if you look at it, the current is mo is moving in this direction. We have current moving in this direction. So if you have to analyze this, we have current moving in direction of 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, that is like this. So we have another one moving in this, like this. And then we have another one moving like this. So unlike in a series where they just follow one part, so you can see that there are three parts. We have one part, we have another part here, there's another part here. So that makes it what a parallel, a parallel connection. Unlike a series connection that I showed earlier, where you are just going to be having your source, then your components. You know, you can see it's just it's just one part. It's just one part. So that is it for parallel connection. Now let's look at how do we now calculate the equivalent uh, value of components in a parallel connection. So when you are having components, different components in a parallel connection, how do you calculate the equivalent value? So let's look at that. So to start with, we are going to be starting with the current. That is how to calculate the total, the total or equivalent value of components in a parallel connection. So let's start with the current. So in a parallel connection, if you are to get the equivalent or the total current, what you are going to do is, so our uh, current is I. So that means I total is equals to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus, I mean I3 plus, you know, depending on the total number of components you are, ha you are having. So what you are going to do is, you are going to find the sum of currents through individual components. So with that, you'll be able to get the equivalent value of the current in a parallel circuit. So then the next one that we are going to be looking at is that of the voltage. So the voltage across a, a parallel connection is what is same. So here we are going to be having our V is the same thing as our V1, is the same thing as our V2, is the same thing as our V3. That means for the, each component is the same thing depending on the how many components you have. So the voltage across uh, a parallel connection is same. So now let's look at for resistance. So before we move forward, for that of current, current and voltage, it is just the opposite of that of what we are having in series. Now, now for a parallel connection, if you see the current is just the addition of individual current in the, each of the components. But if it is that of series connection, the current was the same. Why for voltage? Here we are having in parallel connection, the voltage across the components are same. But if it is that of series, we are going to add the individual voltage in each of the components. I hope that is clear. So now let's go to for, uh, for the resistance. If you are to get the, re uh, the total resistance, 
in the parallel circuit what you do for that for our to, for, for that you are going to be having the reciprocal that is one over r total is equals to one over r1 plus one over r2 plus one over r3 plus depending on how many uh, resistors we are having in the circuit so this will represent uh, r1 the value for one for one resistance another resistance another resistance just look for it like this one over rt and then with, with that you'll be able to get the prevalent resistance in the circuit so now let's look at uh, the for number four you are going to be looking at that of conductance for conductance So the total conductance, which is G total, is equals to that's G1 plus G2 plus G3 plus, so depending on the total number of conductance, Gm. So that is it for, for current voltage resistance and conductor. We are still going to look at more. So you can pause the video to write this down. So because I want to rub it off so that we can look at uh, more components. So number five, the fifth one is inductors. So if you are having inductors in a circuit, and then so how do, in a parallel circuit or in a parallel connection, so how do we calculate the equivalent uh, value of those inductors? So to do that, we are going to be having it as to calculate it is one over L total, which is the uh, total value, is equals to one over L one plus one over L two plus 1 over L3 plus 1 over, so depending on the total number of inductors we are having in the connection. So let's look at one more, which is capacitor. So if you're having capacitors in a parallel connection, how do you get the equivalent value? So to get the equivalent value, this one is also very simple. So that would be C total is equals to C1 plus C2 plus C3 plus just add it's just the addition of the individual value of the capacitance so to get that of the capacitor you say it says what is the sum of their individual capacitance so that is it on how to calculate the, to, uh, the total and equivalent value of some of these components of current voltage resistance uh, conductance inductor uh, inductor and capacitor so with that we've come to the end of this video on a parallel connection i believe you find this video helpful don't forget if you are just come if you just come across this part uh the one that talks about the series connection you'll find the link to that video in the description of this video so if you have any question whatsoever with regards to this video do leave them in the uh, comment section below if you are yet to subscribe to pa academy uh, please click on the subscribe button and then the little bell icon if you find this video helpful please share this video and with that guys i'm going to see you all in another video thank you